What is going on guys, it's Dakota from D Caldwell Photography and today we are back outdoors. I'm super happy to be back outdoors. I got tired of using flash. I wanna go back to using natural light. And we are using the Fuji X-T4 and the 50 millimeter F1.0 lens. So we're gonna see how sharp this thing is and just how amazing this 50 millimeter lens is. So I'll catch you on the video. It's just blurs out the background entirely. And I love shooting outdoors on like cloudy days because the sky is like this one huge soft box. So you get even even shadows and lighting on like the model's entire face. Perfect, one, two. One, two. I also want to mention that all of these are going to be shot at f1.0 so yeah they, they're going to be like the background is just completely obliterated Step, take a couple steps back, right? Cool. Yep. Perfect, perfect. You can relax. So location-wise, this may not be like the prettiest looking spot, but because of the f1.0 aperture, you can just blur out the entire background, so everything is basically focused on Rachel right here. into the viewfinder <laughs> and it also looks like that I'm crying too. No, I'm gonna come closer you feel like that. Okay. Oh. 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 Be careful. Did you get that on camera? Oh. Oh, that's a blooper. One, two. One, two. Do it face me all the way and then like have both like both of them hanging down. Yep. I'm gonna switch sides with you. Okay. Just so we don't get like I know it's blurred, but I'd rather have it. Try to get some tree inside of our foreground here. Rachel peeking behind because nothing says winter more than a snow tree picture. <laughs> <laughs> couple tests in here one two man the test looks like the actual shot okay i guess we're gonna do a couple more of these but the test looks like the actual shot there jesus yes. christ okay I, like I see you out here fuji i see man this listen listen when you say you can't take good pictures with aps-c crop sensor cameras you are lying you just don't know what you're doing <laughs> 
That's all I'm gonna say. You wanna uh, lose the jacket for a couple yeah. of years? Start smiling more. If you have a nice smile, you do it. One, two. Oh, that's wonderful. One, two. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite APS-C setup is. I loved using the Fuji XC4 and the 50mm f1.0 combo because you just got amazing images with it. For some of us that are used to using APS-C gear, this might be a little bit on the pricey side seeing that the Fuji XC4 body is $1,700 and the 50mm lens is $1,500. So that brings you to a total of $3,200. But considering the image quality you get with this combo, Fuji's camera aesthetics, various film simulations, and the amazing color science, the price point of $3,200 seems way more appealing. And we didn't even dive into the top of the line video specs that the X-T4 provides. I hope you all enjoy my first video into my new series of APS-C Isn't Dead. We're going to be testing a lot of crop sensor cameras on this channel and giving you another perspective and option on different devices you can use to take amazing photos. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming content with this series. Thank y'all again and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.